Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to the 12th episode of the Bradford City Road to Glory Career Mode. And yes, I understand this is a January transfer window. And yes, I normally do green screen during this time. But again, more issues have come up. I, I swear to God, there will be no more after this episode. I can guarantee you. Because if there is, then fucking I just will just fucking jump out a window. Because like, there will be no more of me. Because I'm absolutely over it. I've lost... A little bit of, uh, just a little bit of vision. One game's, just one game worth of this career mode, which is unfortunate. But now I've lost some green screen vision. So this episode will have two games in it. And then we'll be uh, taking care of some transfer business as well that I'm trying to attend to. Trying to sign a few guns and trade a few players as well that we actually got free agency. And of course, a few other players. But um, yeah, guys, um, it's going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, it will be interesting because this episode right here, I did live commentate. Did then eventually lose audio files as well, which uh, I didn't actually lose the green screen files. I lost the audio of it, which is the big problem here because um, uh, the camera that I record with I, at the time had not set audio to. So there was no audio of me talking, which pretty much means that what's the point? So I'm going to have to live commentate. And this pass from Moy is a stunner. And that goal as well from who was it? That's Benzia. Benzia scores. And that is not... Wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting because we are kind of... It's a bit awkward. We're kind of trying to trade him. But uh, it's not like Benzia made a run there. You see on the replay, Moy just played a stunning pass. And Benzia was almost offside because the man he was right against was the man onside. But, uh, or the last man. But I swear to God, that guy, that goal, I can't take anything away from it. He's been out of form a little bit. Been struggling. He's just, um, as well as that, I'm going to get more into why I'm not the, his biggest fan. But, I mean, he can still do some good things every now and again. The only problem is he doesn't do it enough. And look at this. This, the actual chain of possession started with Ward, and it ended with Ward, who got the second goal in the exactly 50th minute. So 5 0, zero, zero. That's exactly what I want to see. So, um, yeah, we're 2-0 up now at, against uh, Millwall, and they've got the ball straight away. Martin's on it. There's a run being made into a gap, and no one's marking him. Bates are there. Keeper comes out, and he slots it bottom right-hand corner. So literally in a minute and 35 seconds of game time, which is probably worth about, what, 12 seconds of actual time, uh, we've then gone and conceded a goal, which is frustrating. Uh, a big hard tackle in the air, in the in the actual penalty box. Thankfully, did not result in a goal, but that is a horrendous touch from Hanson, and it could have actually maybe led to a chain of possession that they could score from. We could not take away the three points here, but that cross is horrible, and McGowan, an interesting clearance, but we do still keep possession, and now we've got the ball going wide. Benzia will play through Pinto. No one's on him. He's going to run it forward. He can either go for goal himself. He's getting shut down by Shane Lowry, another Australian. I'm Surprise, Pinto doesn't actually, he's not that quick, takes a heavy touch, it runs out, but it doesn't matter because the referee's blown the whistle and we will win this game. Against Millwall, we win at 1-2, which is good. And uh, yeah, again, Benzia actually um, not rated that highly, as a matter of fact. It's kind of interesting. He did score the, uh, or one of the goals, which is pretty good. Ward getting the other one, and he was quite good. But uh, yeah, it was uh, interesting. Benzia actually played quite well, but again, I've just, we've already, we're already so deep into trying to transfer away. But anyway, the boat's. I've got one vote in that game going to Ryan McGowan. I've got two votes going to Benzia, and I've got three votes going to Danny Ward, who started a chain of possession that led to him scoring a goal, which was great. And Danny Ward, of course, scored a goal himself, so he deserves at least a vote of some sort, as well as having a reasonably sound game as well. Now, this man here, Stuart Armstrong, is actually the player that we're trying to get, and I tried signing him for $35,000 on wage and a 20% increase, but hey, he's thrown that back in my face and said $40,000. And the additional 20% as well, and he'll agree to it. And the reason that I did that was because I'm kind of low of weight. I'm currently trying to trade uh, Tarek Camdow for Yedlin and Benzia for Stuart Armstrong. Stuart Armstrong is a little bit older by a few years, but he has a much higher overall. And I'm, th I'm interested in swapping up the formation too, which would be good. So um, yeah, and of course, I'm also trying to get a little bit of cash from... The, uh, from the board, of course, but I did this last season, and they don't normally do this back-to-back, -back, especially with the lower teams, and I don't know, I'm just going to have to wait and see, but um, yeah, Stuart Armstrong will accept nothing but a 40,000 and 20% on four-year contract, so that is what I submitted. Hopefully, we don't get a squad roll for him, because uh, even though Bentia had one good game, the, all the poor games that he played before then have not been great, and look at that, Bradford City have said that no, they will not actually take that request, which is kind of frustrating. And you can also see there, DeAndre Yedlin has pretty much done the same thing as uh, Armstrong. He's originally getting paid 20000 That's what he demanded. I went with 15,020%. He said no to that. And now he's come back with 20,020% as well. So pretty much exactly like Armstrong. And uh, so that's $60,000 wage over up uh, overall with those two plays. And if we take into consideration the wage that we're paying 
both Cam Dow and Ben Zia, plus the wage that we have. We're not going to have enough to sign both, which is why I need to make sure that I get some cash from somewhere, whether it be from selling a few players, as you saw before, I was transfer listing a few players, or if we can win this FA Cup game. That means that we will get an influx of cash about a week or two after the actual game's played, and hopefully that means... Um, you know, we can stall their contract enough so that way we won't have to resend contract offers because if we have to do that, then sometimes they won't agree to them again, even the exact same deal, which would suck because I really want both of these players because Armstrong is just a little bit more quality. I think he might become immediately, potentially, the highest rated player in the team if we can do it. And he's only like 22 years of age. He's still quite young, which I would love. And this, I actually love that little through ball. That was sensational. And Chrishantis had the shot. It was, it was really well brought down by him too. But unfortunately, it was just off target just by a little bit. And uh, But it was a sensational throw ball. And uh, Reed now is on the ball, going past two players. Demel still chasing, had the shot, and actually went in. It was almost a little bit too easy considering we're playing on legendary. But I will take it. Reed's just charged on through, through the defense, running down the wing originally, and then just cutting in. And it somehow ended up in a goal. Demel, again, the guy that was tagging Ward. That is a stunning save from Collins. That is a really, really good save from Collins, stretching out. And uh, I don't know if it would have hit the post or not. But again, another another header that was going in. There was a man on the line to probably deal with it. But again, Collins, if he wasn't there, had it covered. A beautiful stretching save. And that was great. Chrishantis again, putting on the forward pressure. Maybe being able to whip something in here for Hanson. He tries a header. It's no way. He's got it. What a tight angle. Hanson, how have you scored that? An amazing header from a ridiculously tight angle. He hit it with the side of his head as well. It was such an awkward angle. I had no idea that he was going to be able to pull it off. I can't believe the keeper didn't save it either. But if any man can pull off a ridiculous header, it is that man, Hanson. And look at this. Carroll on the ball. A pass to Jarvis, who's just slutting out the bat. No, slutting out the back. No one's looking at him. And he's actually kept on side by, you know, defenders that are completely out of whack, out of sync. And Carroll, again, looking dangerous. Had the powerful shot. Going for the near post. But again, Collins has it covered. And he's been good. He's been called upon many times. And again, he's going to have to. Deals with Carroll again. The ball was in the air. He took out Carroll in the penalty box, but he didn't give one away. So that's a clean take as well. Collins has been on fire in this game. We very well could be losing this game if it wasn't for his stunning performance so far. Reed put a touch to Moy. Try to blast it in the corner to finish it, but it was plucked by Henderson. He goes to boot it up forward, but the referee just blows a whistle on him anyway. And again, just like the previous match, we win it away. We win it 1-2. We're still in the FA Cup. And even better, we are now... <coughs> excuse me. Even better, we are now actually um, uh, getting a little bit of cash back in about a week or so's time, which means we will be able to afford both Stuart Armstrong and Yedlin, which pretty much means I think we can safely say that Ben Zier is going to be out pretty soon. But anyway, the votes for this game. I've got one vote going to uh, Kyle Reid. I've got two votes going to Chris Shantis in that game. And I've got three votes going to Collins. One of his best performances as a goalkeeper. And we could, we very well wouldn't have won that game without his incredible input. And uh, I know Hanson obviously scored a pretty good header. But apart from that, he didn't do much else. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So pretty happy with that. We've got a game against Leicester City coming up soon. And Green Screen will return next episode. I promise you guys. And we will make those trade offers for Armstrong and Yedlin so long as they agree to the contracts. And that's it for me, guys. Enjoy the episode. Hope you uh, hope you did. And peace out. Bye-bye.